forces of Ukraine repel enemy attacks near 11 settlements. The units of the armed forces of Ukraine repelled Russia's attacks in the areas of Pedhorodny and Bakhmut in Donetsk region. This is stated in the report of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine as on December 11. Over the past 24 hours, the missile and artillery units of the Defense Forces of Ukraine hit three enemy command posts and military equipment. In order to replenish the insufficient personnel of enemy units operating in severe Donetsk direction, measures of forced mobilization were intensified in the temporarily occupied territory of Luhansk region. In the town of Krasnyaluk, the number of patrols were increased to check men's documents, hand out summons, and take them to the mobilized collection point. The assault on Ukraine's Donbass region remains very difficult, with Russian forces having effectively destroyed Bakhmut. Ukraine's leader said during the nightly televised address on Friday that he had discussed the situation on the front line and winter prospects on the battlefield during a conversation with British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak earlier in the day, which encompasses the Donetsk and Luhansk regions, had become lifeless wastelands following brutal and ongoing battles between Russia and Ukraine. The frontline situation remains very difficult in the key areas of Donbass, Bakhmut, Solidar, Marinka, Kremina, Zelensky said. For a long time, there is no living place left on the land of these areas that has not been damaged by shells and fire. The occupiers actually destroyed Bakhmut, another Donbass city that the Russian army turned into burnt ruins. All soldiers and commanders who hold the front in these directions repulse attacks and inflict significant losses on the enemy in response to the hell that entered Ukraine under the Russian flag. Russian attempts to gain ground in Donetsk and Luhansk have amplified in recent months, with the regions being two of four that Russian President Vladimir Putin claimed to have annexed in late September. Zelensky's comments came one day after the notorious Russian mercenary organization, the Wagner Group, successfully repelled Ukrainian counterattacks near Bakhmut, according to the Institute for the Study of War. Russian forces continued ground attacks around Bakhmut on December 7, states an ISW report published Thursday. Russian sources widely claimed that Wagner Group fighters took control of Yakovlevka and that fierce fighting is ongoing near Bakhmut in Opitne, Klishchivka, and Solidar. The Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that Ukrainian troops unsuccessfully attempted to regain certain lost positions south of Bakhmut. It continued, Russian sources largely discussed the intensity of operations in this area and emphasized high Ukrainian losses. ISW analysts also suggest Putin is preparing the Russian public to accept that the war in Ukraine will become increasingly grinding and protracted. More than 10 explosions rang out in temporarily occupied Melitopol, Zaporizhia region. Melitopol Mayor Ivan Fedorov announced this on Telegram, Ukraine Form reports. As Ukraine Form reported, the general staff confirmed that the area of concentration of Russian personnel was struck in the temporarily occupied territory of Zaporizhia region. Up to 150 invaders were injured. 50 of them were taken to the hospital in the city of Melitopol. Information about enemy losses is being clarified.